careful how you treat people. Be careful how you treat people, man. You know what I'm saying? See, it's certain people that God don't play about. I happen to be one of them people. You know what I'm saying? Be careful how you treat people, man. There's a scripture in the Bible that says, touch not my anointing and do my prophets no harm, man. You don't know who God got on assignment. You know what I'm saying? And if God put them on assignment, there's nothing you can do. You can't come with your hate. You can't come with your negativity. You can't come with your bad words. None of that. Nothing you gonna, nothing you're gonna try to do to harm them or stop them from fulfilling what God got for them is gonna prosper. That's what that scripture means. No weapons formed against them shall prosper. And every tongue that accuses them in judgment shall be condemned. See, a lot of y'all be putting your mouth on people and don't even realize this is God's anointed. That's why the moment you say something bad, the moment you try to come against them, all hell break loose in your life. Now I will never be your hater, I'm your biggest fan. I hope it falls into place just how you planned it. Life could put you in a pickle, just make sure it's kosher. Lean on me like Bill Withers until you smell the roses. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving, man. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. More importantly, you saw the clip. Google a book so you can find it on, on Amazon. Listen, be careful who you talk about. Now, with all of this gossip going around about all kinds of people, right? All of this Me Too gossip. For me, I understand people don't go to church anymore. People not really big into religion people not really in, you know big into god but the man is right and sometimes y'all don't understand you know because some people i cannot say this some people some people feel like you know god is anointed people and some people feel like hey well the devil can annoy people too but you know don't even don't play this game and i get that but what i don't get is if you see somebody who has a long history of good deeds and you've seen do good things and you feel like they have a a, a, a good heart. They ain't got to be a perfect person. They ain't got to be 100%. But the minute you hear something bad about them, you just immediately turn on them. And, and they always used to be this and they always used to be that. You know? It's like, yeah. They always used to be this. They always used to be that, huh? Uh-huh. Okay. So what happens is this. You start talking about a person, you start throwing them under the bus, you start treating them a certain, you start trying, you know, uh, you ain't got to treat them a certain way, you start backbiting and not realizing, you know, things come back on, on you. And I use kind of like the color purple as a reference, you know, everything you done to me, you know, till you do right by me, you know, that actually happens to people like, and, and sometimes people don't realize they've let's just say disrespected god's children whoever the that the, the, the children may be or a child may be and when i say children i'm talking about just different people they now they don't have to know each other just and you don't realize your life is going through you know not even ups just downs and downs right and you don't remember how many who you know you you backbited who you backstabbed who you did dirty you don't remember because there's so much going on you like you can over you, you know who you overtly did something dirty to but you can't even think about all the other people you maybe gossiped about or, or, or put a bad word out about that would even that wasn't even true right so ultimately you know you put yourself in a position where now you're like, you know, God, you know, I need some help. And it's like, maybe God's using that energy to help the person that you threw under the bus. Because a lot of times we don't think about that. Like, you know, some of us have thrown people under the bus unjustly out of envy, jealousy, hatred. Um, or it's just, you know, just gossip for gossip's sake, right? And y'all and y'all don't think about it. And I, and I you know, I did a little short about that. Like a lot of times when people like feed off of gossip or, or use gossip or work with gossip, you know, and they can just believe the worst in a human being. 
I, I'm a firm believer that the only reason you believe the worst of a human being is because that's what's in you. Like if you was that person, that's what you would do. If you was in that situation, you could see yourself doing the things that they've been quote unquote accused of. So you make you make a, a, a bad situation worse. Or you can make a good situation bad just by throwing up some BS out here. And some of y'all, you know, some of y'all get mad, you get jealous because you're like, why is this person always winning? Why do they, you know, they keep bouncing back? How does this keep happening? And it's like, well, has it ever occurred to you that the reason why this person keeps winning is because they're not the problem you are? See, a lot of times, blessed people can understand blessed people's struggles. Anointed people can understand anointed people's struggles. And this ain't a financial thing, but what it is is a, a thing where a person can say, mm, seen that before, been down that road. I, I'm seeing you going through you know, trials and tribulations. That, that that are unjust. You get what I'm saying? Using a story in the Bible, like Job went through a lot of calamity, right? And you, and 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 the and the and the wager was in a sense that he would curse God's name because of all the calamity. But nobody, you know, but hypothetically speaking. With all the things that happened to him, other people might have been like, "Man, Joe, ugh, mm, he deserved it." You know, what I'm saying? I knew, I knew he wasn't doing right. That's why all this bad stuff is happening to him. I knew he wasn't living right. Look at him; he lost everything. And it's like, be careful about that, because when when, when somebody when somebody might lose everything, and and you're cheering that, or, or you're amen in that, or you're like, you know, I told y'all. They can get it all back plus some, but you might lose more than they ever did. You know, you know, people forget you can fall out of the favor of God, and 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 is and ridiculous gossip is one of those things that can do it. Like, you know, question that I have is this: What does it benefit you to gossip on somebody? that you don't even know. And I, I never understood that. Like, you know, sometimes people just want to see somebody destroyed and feel like they have the power to say the magical words to destroy a human being. And it's just BS. But I'm going to leave it at that, man. Y'all tell me what you think. Like, share, subscribe, or die, try and catch y'all on the next one. Peace. You ever been to the top of the universe? I'm gonna take you.